density of states in one dimensional case. So in the case of nanowire, so we can see the situation where we have a structure like that with uh, two of the dimensions being a nanoscale. So this is, let's say, Ly and Lz. And another dimension, so this Lx is the macroscopic. We will use the same recipe which we used for a three-dimensional and two-dimensional uh, case. So we will count the modes in the case space and then we convert this dispersion relation to get from uh, density of states in, in terms of the momentum to the density of states in terms of energy. So the, um, the dispersion relation for one-dimensional case is uh, again a sum of uh, three contributions from each of those spatial dimensions. For the uh, quantized dimensions so Ly and Lz, uh, we can have like a discrete uh, direct counting. So the values are h bar square pi square nz square over Lz square uh, times 2m plus uh, h bar square pi square ny square over 2 pi L y square and then the x direction we have h bar square kx square over 2m so so for those bits uh, we do a direct counting for this e and z and y is a direct counting based on which quantum numbers we have, like n, n z equals uh, 1, and y equals 1, and z equals 2, and y equals zero, uh, 1, and so on. And here we will use this uh, case space trick. Case space trick. The same we used for uh, three dimensions and two dimensions. So now let's consider uh, working in a case space. And this is our kx. And so we have the separation between the states, which is uh, uh, pi over Lx, similar to 2D and 3D case. And what we will be doing, we will be considering again some region of uh, decay. And in, in one dimensional case, it, it's quite easy actually. So G of K decay, density of states in 1D is just decay divided by this pi over Lx. So pi over Lx. And you have Lx decay over pi. Um, the dispersion relation we can then rewrite. We can rewrite this dispersion relation as uh, e equals. Uh, uh, yeah, let's move. Let's move this um, the direct counting parts to the left hand side. E and z and y equals uh, h bar square k square over two m. Then we express um, kx, so the kx um, is uh, now square root of uh, e minus e and y and z times 2m yeah, divided by h bar square. The dkx, so the derivative we can drop this x indices. We have only one direction, which is macroscopic. There's the less, uh, less bit to write. Again, using a chain rule, we will have um, 1 over square root of uh, e minus e and y and z 2m over h bar square times uh, Taking the derivative of what's inside that one, so from, and we have one half 
from from taking the derivative for the square root times one half times um, two m over h bar square de. So the twos cancel. And uh, we end up with uh, g e over g d, so the density of states in 1d is uh, mm, so yeah, we have this lx here, so lx over pi, or we omit this x index, so it's irrelevant, m over h bar square times this part, times this part, right. because uh, kdk um, is Yeah, times dk, so times 1 over square root of e minus e and y and z, 2m over h bar square de. That's the, that's the result. And we again we can calculate we can represent the density of states per unit lens, and uh, um, for each and y and and z, the yeah so we normalize this by l by l so per unit lens per unit. And then we need to take into account spin times two because of spin. And then we can rearrange a few bits there. So the square root of 2m and you have 2m here. You can bring this square root of 2m from inside that part. So we remove this one here and you have a, you have a square root of 2m. And uh, and then h bar you can also take out h bar from there. You have now just h bar, and that would be the answer for each of the for each of n z and n y. And obviously for the energies for energies bigger than e. And, and y and z so that you don't end up with, with the, some imaginary contributions there so then the total uh, density of states in one dimension is uh, g of e de is square root of 2m over pi h bar then you do the summation and y and z and we just um, use this um, again the step function so the heavy side step function e minus e and y and z divided by square root of e minus and y and z the, that's the this is a one-dimensional case. In zero dimensions, it's a it's a straightforward. So all states are discrete. Discrete. So we just count them. Just directly count. Them. 